I'm not smiling so much today because I've had three teeth removed from the side here and I'm feeling quite embarrassed about it um, having ladies complaining bitterly to me and so I don't know what I'm going to do uh, if one refuses to come out of me then obviously I'll have to pull my socks up and get something done about it <laughs> <laughs> anyway you were making inquiries uh, from me about the laurels how they all started life off you're probably wondering what all these papers are uh, on over here and I've got one there of Maggie there too um, I hope all my viewers are not all uh, it's all right if they're all conservatives but otherwise <laughs> anyway um, the, the situation come up here we have I've had to rush back from a job this morning because suddenly we've got sunshine here which was not forecast uh, to cover these over because my laurels, the laurels which are required by all start life down here like this you see and um, these are all very small laurels here and they've only been in, they've only, this is a new one called Etna they've only been in about a month that's all so there'll be at least another month before there are any roots showing on there but what's happened in the past is I've always put all the cuttings directly into sand then when they've rooted up I've had to lift them so now I'm putting them into these very very small cells here so that when they do root I'll be able to lift the whole thing out and the plant will not get a shock and go back so easily so that's, that's what these frames are all about and then in here we've got we've got a mixture of chrysanthemums which are coming away quite nicely that's a, that's a small tray of chrysanthemum cutting and that's called George Griffiths which in point of fact is a very nice red but those have only been in um, they've been put in this month so I need to even bother looking to see if they're rooted up yet because they won't have done and there's a few dahlias in here quite a nice collection of dahlias and which will all be getting planted out at the very end of May when the fear of frost has gone over and then there's some dahlias here which I've already potted up in point of fact um, you can see yourself that these have all been potted up and those will go direct from these pots right into open ground that's called David Digweed that one and I'm not joking because it does sound a funny name in point of fact that's a rather nice orange that one and um, there's one or two others there let me have a look and see what else there is here uh, that's, that's called um, that's called Rycroft oh that's Golden Scepter that one I've got a very good one there called um, Rycroft Delight it's an absolute topper there's quite a selection of, of different ones there point of fact there's one I'm doing terribly well let's get that secured at least two hands on this job here right have a look at this one well, that's called George Ken. Now that also is, that's a red one that, and it's quite a nice one that too. All for cut flower, cut flower you see, for all main varieties. So I keep them there now until about the middle of May. And then I put them into a, an open greenhouse to acclimatise them to going outside. And uh, in point of fact, what happens here is that to get these started, there's um, <coughs> the sand in the bottom of here and there's wires running back and forward and there's heat on and it's all controlled with thermostat which is running at um, mainly I leave it on day and night that's about 25 um, celsius so I think I'm right now for probably about 50 Fahrenheit which is quite warm that that causes the roots to come away good old, good old, which is what we really want I hope you're not showing your camera, don't show the camera over here amongst all that rubbish and tackle because that's terrible that. Well, I think we'll call that uh, enough for today and uh, we'll come back on when we've got some more interesting things to uh, show you, uh, hopefully in the very near future.